that's on now, buzzing. Right, so I will start off with um, start off with something small. I call these are my duckling skin key rings. I've made these out of duckling skin, so you can see that there. Uh, luckily, I've got two of them, so I can show different ones on different videos. Mm. Um, so there you go, like light coloured and dark coloured. I'll show them over here as well, like that. So you get them. Uh, trying to keep it in focus on both. Shouldn't really have done both at the once, but fuck it. You know, I don't want to have to do two hours worth of this, or even an hour's worth. I still think it's mental, mate. You can do this for three hours. But yeah, duckling skin key rings. They are made out of real duckling skin. Obviously, you know, I'm not a liar. Might be a bit weird, but I'm not a liar. Uh, you got this, mate. This is a rat man. So this rat man here, this is called Bagman. So he's got a he's got a quiff here made out of mink fur. His body is made out of a rat. Nice for touching and rubbing, you know. A bag made out of the other part of his body, and some beaks in there. So he's got a bag of beak, you could say. He's there. He's, he's posable, removable trousers as well. If you wanted to take his trousers off. Fornaments, mate. My fornaments are ornaments that I've repaired using animal skin. So this is a bit of rat hair, another bit of rat, and that's a little baby chicken's toe to make it look like he's giving you a thumbs up. Uh, ball flickers so you can flick that around there bit of stress relief you know that's got a bit of a duckling skin baby chicken's beak and rat skin on there portable i5 machines mate rat's arms on a spring then we've got this is my one eyed worm so it's a rat's tail bit of mink duckling chicken beak and a little if you can see just there I'll show you know, can you see the tip there the tips of baby chicken's toe meat what do you uh, what do you think you know give us a give us a bit of feedback and that you know it'd be nice uh, got this this is a little wooden mouse didn't have a tail on it so well it did but it was broken so I've repaired its tail with a real rat's tail there and a little bit of a little bit of fur there for stroking tactility is nice and it? it's nice to have something to rub you know um, False nails, mate, made out of rat skin. If anyone's interested in them, they might be going into like a mystery box because I do mystery boxes. Other things you could get in your mystery boxes are weird bits like this that I've collected. This fucking creepy plastic figurine. Uh, these, which are pretty cool, little masks that you could put on your wall. You know, I quite like these myself. Um, obviously, that's, you know, that's why I've got them. I've got other bits like that that I've collected as well. I've got, I've got this, which is amethyst which is just a gem, you know, I don't know if it's got any healing properties, not really into all that, don't really believe in doctors, so, and you can find out more about the doctors and that by listening to my podcast, mate, which you can find a link to by going to linktree slash world around you, or just going to my sub, going to my page, the links in my bios, wherever it is you're watching, uh, a couple of shark teeth in a jar, if you're feeling nice, you could give, you, give someone else a penguin, pay a penguin forward, pick up a penguin and pay it forward abalone shell which is some fancy bits of shell which look a lot better on that camera rather than that camera but fuck it but getting back into things I've made we've got um, here's another ornament so this cat didn't have a tail tail was broken off replaced it mate with a mouse tail now it might be hard to see where I'll bring it closer so you can see there is actually this actually isn't its original tail this that is actually a mouse's tail I know that like some people you know don't believe me and that, but it but it is, and I quite like how the bum hole was the ventilation hole for when the ceramicist who you made this made it. Uh, another ball flicker. There's another ball flicker using a rat's tail as an eye stalk. Don't know what you think of that there. I, I quite like these. Now the ball flickers. The ball flickers are sent at random. So you go to worldaroundyou.com. I've put a comment there, or there's a link in my bio, or you know, click my profile and that to find it. But you get the one at random, so you don't know what you're gonna get. Because I really like Pokemon cards and that in it as a kid, and I wanted to be able to kind of give that as a thing to someone in it, so that they could also enjoy it. So they don't know what they're gonna get, and they be like, "Oh yeah, mate, I really like mine. Mine's better than yours." And rather than just being because of some sentimentality value, you could be like, "Oh, I prefer my one with a, the eye stalk made out of a rat's tail." Because I don't really like that. Oh, fucking hell. Getting excited. I don't really like this one because it's got glow in the dark eyes, mate, and it scares me kids at night time. Do you know what I mean? Uh, baby chameleon, mate, in a cube. Look at him. Something a bit nice. Bit bubbly because I made him in the winter, so he's a bit cheaper. 
if you like resin stuff, though, I've got this fella as well, which is like a Mr. Burns style rat meat. You know how he goes like that and not going excellent and all this. It's fucking, that's a rat's head, rat spine and baby chicken feet. Uh, fossils, mate, you might be into fossils, so I've got some fossils. Various fossils, teeth, like I've said, shark teeth, but these are these are like a coral stem, a fossilised coral stem. Sticking with old stuff, I've got these shells, old style big shells. Might be nice as an ashtray, you know, you might be a, an avid smoker or a posh smoker, and you're like, well, I don't want to just use my old Coke cans anymore. I want to use a fucking dead clam, you know. Bit of pyrite, mate, fool's gold there, if you fancy a bit of that. Now, something else I've made, we've got wrigglers, mate, wrigglers. So these are me wrigglers. It's a rat's tail with a bit of chick fur on this one and a baby chicken's beak. You can see him there, I'll bring him closer in for you. What do you think of this anyway? Let me know what you think in the comments and that, guys. Give me a bit of a bit of something, you know, if you're enjoying it. If you want to see something again, feel free to say again. Um, I've got this fella that I've made, which is a little, like, called them amalgamations. So it's a little amalgamation. This is a, a mouse's body. But what I did was I, I, I moved the tail. So the tail was originally at this end. And I thought, no, I'll have the tail as a neck because I want the feet going in the right direction kind of thing. So I swapped the tail around and used the tail as a neck and a bit of rat skin to make the head. And then the the eye, obviously googly eye, googly eye, everything, mate, because, you know, it fucking takes the edge off. This would be pretty fucking, uh, pretty morbid, I would have thought, to a lot of people if it didn't have the googly eyes. So you want something to keep it funny, keep it light, do you know what I mean? And um, so then you've got this, the, but he's got a little sail because he's an amalgamation, he's just like a monster, you know, different animals put together. The rat's, the rat's ear is a sail up here and beaks as the eyelids and also the feet are the lower part of the beaks. Um, mostly, uh, but that's partly because when I was doing my radio show last week about teeth, I learned about teeth where with teeth um, there's, ancient, there's uh, Eastern Asian traditions where when a kid loses its tooth, if it's one of the upper jaw they'll fucking throw it onto the roof for good luck if it's a lower jaw, they'll just suck it out the window onto the floor outside for luck, now I got these mate these are me fucking uh, magnetic mouse earrings, so you don't need to have your ears pierced so if you want your ears pierced and you don't want to scare your dad, there you are, you got, you got that. Obviously as well, it's um, functional in both ears as well, so if you can pop it into either ear, because you don't need a piercing, obviously. Also, then when you're not wearing them, mate, pop them on the fridge, like that, you know. And I'm actually displaying this from a freezer, but I can stick them to the freezer, but you won't be able to see them. Now, um, I've also got bits like this, mate, these are crab claws in a jar. Little fucking crabs, you can give them as gifts to people, you know, give the give the gift of crabs. But just the claws, you know, um, bit hard to see on the camera. Porn stars, mate, look at these. Starfish with fake dicks. Anyone into these, mate? Little fridge magnets and that, you know. Um, someone wants to see the portable high five machine, I'll just grab another one. So I can give you a proper example of my portable high five machines, here you go. So portable high five machines. Rats arms on a spring meat, like that. Good for social distancing at a distance, you know. You're not allowed to shake hands anymore or hug anymore. But no one anywhere has said that you can't have a fucking detached rat's arm on a spring and fucking you hold the one back like that. Now it's a bit hard to do on your own. I imagine it's easy to do with friends, but as you can probably imagine, I haven't got any to experiment with this with. But um, if you if you just fucking grab them like this hand's a bit big, but you. You get the idea, I'm going to try and give it, and you can just sort of, like that, clasp together, you know, and, and rub rat hands with each other. But they're available on my website, mate, £12 plus postage. And I think that's quite a good price, and I try and keep my prices of everything down, because for what it is, you know, it's a rat's arm on a spring at the end of the day. Um, duck lads, what about a duck lad, mate? You've got a duck lad here, here's a duck lad, um, which is made of a real duckling. And it's arms are baby chicken legs, and then it's got action figure as an head. Uh, is that one's called Gamer Guy? Uh, Jameses, these are called Jameses. Rat skin, rat ears, little figurine, poseable and that. You know, you can play with them. Uh, these, what about these, mate? Can't remember if I've shown you these. I might show you things twice because I have the fucking attention span of a goldfish. But look how much I've got through in less than ten minutes. You know, um, these are fake nails, mate. They're false nails made out. Of made out of rat skin they'll go into a mystery box I've got this wooden mouse here where I've replaced the tail with a rat's tail 
Uh, another thing that I've collected rather than made myself, but there's something nice for a mystery box or a raffle item, you know. Um, I've got all different sorts of things on my website if you have a look at that, worldaroundyou.com. And um, the same as my username on wherever you're watching this, innit? But then we've got these, mate, little little gemstone pendants, mate. They're just a little something nice, you know. Something you could probably gift to your nan. Because obviously, like, your, nan, your nan's not probably going to want... She's probably not going to want a dead baby chameleon in a cube to put on a shelf. But your nan might like a little chunk of amethyst, mate. Or a fucking... What about one of these agate, agate slice, slice key rings, mate? Like that, mate. Look at that. Fucking... Uh, I think they're four quid on my website then. Bargain, mate. Get one of them. All, you know, good for the family. Good for birthdays. Christmas, if you're an early buyer. Um... Yeah, it is. Here's something you might have seen before. So this is this is a wrap, and I, I've taxidermied it myself. Obviously, that's I am a I am a taxidermist. That's my main that's my main thing. Uh, the podcasts and the books that I've written are, are secondary. I'll have a little look through the books with you in a minute. I won't take too long. Cause I know people aren't massively into them, innit? They're not overly keen on them. But so we got wrap pencil cases, mate. So we got a zipper, zipper down the spine there, and it's lined on the inside. So if ink spills, it don't ruin the pelt. You know, and you don't damage it. Unfortunately, this because these zips are metal, they're old zips, really old zips. I thought they'd look nice, and they do. They look quite smart and that. But the uh, the teeth don't quite marry up because unfortunately they're made for they're made for trousers, so that you can like zip there in it, and that's like fabric that goes like this, not the back of a fucking creature that curves. And then you've got the pencil sharpener up the arsehole, as you can see there. So you never lose your pencil sharpener, and you don't need to buy a pencil sharpener, me. Um, Pooper shooter scooters. These are little rubber ornaments of a dog with worms. Now I've got quite a few of these. If anyone's interested in these, that's um, they'd be quite a quite a nice thing. Apparently, I'm all over four chan, which is pretty weird because I I've not done that. Someone's asking how much is the chameleon? I think it's about forty quid, give or take, maybe thirty, maybe fifty, somewhere around that. I have as you can see, I've got, I've got a lot of stuff, man. I can't remember all the prices of everything. Um, fossilized. Fossilized poo. Anyone into that? These are. This is called coprolite. Now it's a listing on my website called the Packer Poo. A lot like the Packer Punch on Cod, where you're not too sure when you first use it what you're gonna get, but you know you're gonna get something good. And the good thing you're gonna get, mate, is a fucking piece of fossilized turtle turd. But probably thousands of years old, I would assume. But all in different shapes and sizes, different weights, you know. And it's it's just a, a little weird thing you can get yourself. The, you don't know how big it's going to be, what shade of brown it's going to be. Um, I'm just going to wipe the the iron oxide off my hands. Uh, we'll touch stuff that isn't skin for a minute, so it rubs off easier. These are soapstone carvings. Again, not made by me, but I still think they're kind of cool. So uh, one of you is seeing a giraffe and a dinosaur. The other one's just seeing a dinosaur, little T-Rex, and then we'll swap it round. They are giraffe and a dinosaur. They're three quid, uh, four quid a piece, or three for a tenner. Uh, we've got. Uh, did I show you Bagman? Have you seen Bagman yet? Oh, there's Bagman. These are me rat people. I've got a couple of these at the minute. They are rat people. There'll be more by the end of the week. Uh, I love making these. Uh, one of my favourite ones I've made is uh, it was a barbecue chef. I made him a pinny, an apron, right, out of mice, and then I made him a barbecue as well out of about, I'd say six mice, and the barbecue could open and close. And obviously you could use it as a real barbecue if you wanted to, but. Obviously, with it being made out of mouse, it, it would only be able to be used once, and you'd want something that you're going to cook quite quickly, because it's just going to go up in flames, isn't it? And probably smell like when you singe your fucking person's hair when you're on the bus. But not obviously not that you should not that you should do that. You shouldn't do it at home either. Really, I don't know why I feel like it, it, irrelevant. So this is Bagman, and he's made out of rat. Bit of mink up the top, um, bit of mink for chest hair. Couple of little nipples on there. Can you see the little nipples? Nice for rubbing, if you fancy rubbing his little nipple for luck there. Don't know if it's lucky, haven't got a clue, not a priest, not sure, or an imam, or, you know, a rabbi, I, I don't know who, I don't, or a shaman, I, I don't know who um, says, you know, this is lucky, this isn't lucky, but it could be, if you believe it's lucky, to rub the plastic nipples of a rat man, who am I to judge? Now, and he, has, he has got a bag of beak on him as well, which a lot of you are probably thinking, this guy's got a bag of beak on him as well somewhere, but I don't. I just get excited when I talk about me dead rats and that meat. So you can see the chicken beaks in there. That's his bag of beak. Um, here's the other one. This is the angel. This is because I did a radio show uh, about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, all about angels and that. So this is um, this one here. 
you can see it's got a halo because angels aren't actually at all what they tell you they are they're not like fucking bird men with wings though they are kind of bird men but they're also like a bird maybe a lizard or a crocodile or some uh, lions and people all sort of mangled together at least one level of them are as well so you can hit in my podcasts and stuff my radio shows through the link in my bio um, go to my website go to any of my social medias find my link tree you'll be able to find them I'll go through my books in a minute with you they are so this is the angel and he's got a halo made out of rat skin there to support it over so it looks like it's floating so just imagine you can't see the rat skin there that's why the head's sort of angled as it's angled um, then we've got the beak which is made to look like it's glowing so you can imagine it's going like ah, fucking you know like a fucking uh, maybe more like a scene from the Vicar of Dibley or something rather than like an actual angel but you know what I mean like a glowing thing so like if I stand over there for a they are for the reddit people you see like I've got a halo and now you imagine he's up there fucking uh, eh, that way but instead of it actually being a halo mate it's just a halo that I've made out of rat skin and chicken beaks you can see them there quite clearly show it to you guys as well um, oh, uh, what else do we have what else anything anyone wants to see again what about this mate this is a fornament I'm not sure if I'm showing you the same things twice now I haven't got a clue um, I've got, let me see, oh I've got this fella, yeah, oh shit, there's the ornament, so it was a broken cat ornament without a tail, and then I've, I've repaired the tail almost seamlessly as well, with a, with a mouse tail, and you can just about see where it transitions there, from ornamental cat to real mouse tail, if you look really closely, and then we've got this fella here, isn't for sale this, this is something, this is something for Jack, you know, this is, I, I take this to um, to markets for kids to play with. Not in like a fucking weird way. Like I don't I don't just go to markets with a carrier bag with me fucking glove puppet in, made out of a fox's head. Uh, I mean like markets where I'm selling stuff. I don't just go to markets to try and play with children. I'm I'm not a freak, you know. I just like making stuff out of dead animals. Someone's asking on TikTok, have you ever done a pigeon? Um, I've tried a pigeon. The woman who drew, you'll see on my T Public store, if you have a look on there, you'll see that I've got T-shirts where and, and stuff like that where it's cats in lingerie, paintings of cats in underwear on T-shirts and jumpers and stuff. Now, the lady that did paint them found me a dead pigeon in the middle of the city and gave me a ring and I went and collected it and I did go to taxidermy it, but unfortunately it was covered in ants and I just got bit by loads of fucking feral ants. Well, I say feral, they were just annoyed that I was disrupting their newfound home on the pigeon. Unless they'd been living there a while and that's why the pigeon had died. Which is a, it's a possibility, I guess. But, um, yeah, I tried with a pigeon but it didn't work because of the ants. But here's, like I say, I've got this little foxglove puppet. Uh, what else can we show you? Let's put him, we'll put him over there. Let me have a little drink because my mouth's getting a bit dry. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you these. A couple more ball flickers. So we've got a few more ball flickers over here. Yeah. Here's one made out of mink. Kind of looks like a Bigfoot's face, like a baby Bigfoot. Look at that. A bit of a bit of weight to it. Uh, and then here we've got uh, here's another ball flicker. Bit of duckling skin, rat skin, baby chicken's beak. So as I say, these are at random. I don't. Is anyone? Is anyone even uh, on Reddit? Is there any comments? Is there any? Everyone's just sat in silence watching me, which is fine, I guess. A bit weird, but fuck it. Um, and there's another one there, little Cyclops one. Rat skin, bit of duckling and a baby chicken's beak. I just like seeing how many things you can make out of the same materials kind of thing. Got this fella here, which I made ages ago. And uh, I don't know, I don't remember why. I don't remember why or what it really is. Uh, thank you for following as well, all the people that have been following me on, on uh, Reddit and TikTok here. That's quite nice of you. I've got three people watching me on TikTok for those that are wondering, and 26 on Reddit, so that's pretty nice. We got a fucking, so this guy here is made out of a shell, and then he's got this inside bit here for a bit of secret rubbing, you know, because there's nothing quite like a bit of secret rubbing, is there, if you can get away with it. And then a couple of baby chicken toes here at the back, and a baby chicken's foot at the front, as if it crawls and pulls itself along, mate, like it's in fucking pain. Googly eyes, as I say, googly eye everything, because it takes the edge off. There's an ornament that was, I don't know what it originally was, didn't even have an head when it came with it, and obviously no arm. Uh, well, say obviously, this arm here isn't actually its original arm. That's some rat skin there and a baby chicken's foot to make it look like it's giving you a thumbs up. And then the head is actually a piece of rat uh, made to look like a head from the ornament, what I assume it looked like. Bit of a duckling's arse as well as a quiff, 
for that fella there. I like giving things quiffs and I don't know why. The Wrigglers, did I show you the Wrigglers? So the Wrigglers are a rat's tail with a bit of chick, uh, baby chick, uh, beaks, you know, skin. Um, I've got, there's the other one, that one's got rat skin. Yeah. Excuse me, because I'm talking so fucking quickly. Oh, that's disgusting, I apologise. Uh, that's rat skin and uh, baby chicken beak. Now let's um, let's take a little bit of a break because my brain is going ding 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 like that. So what we'll do is I'll tell you about these books that I've wrote, which are available as e-books as well through my website. So the books, uh, we'll start with the first one I did, which I did when I started all of this when I was at university and I mis massively misunderstood a human. I've just read a word there. <laughs> Massi I did massively misunderstand a human though, to be fair. But I massively misunderstood a university project, which led to me making a rat into a pencil case with a zipper down its spine and a pencil sharpener up its arsehole. And um, they wouldn't let me do any more taxidermy on my uni course, so I wrote this book because I figured it was mass producible. And how are they going to fucking market? Because it's not an English literature course. It was a fucking 3D design course, and I figured you could sell these all around the world. So, And, and I have, without being like a dickhead, trying to brag people have bought them like about fucking three dozen people have read this book all over the place mate which is mad isn't it but now you can get it as an ebook for 1.99 from your website and it's just a load of big words mate that i don't know the meanings to and then i guess the meaning well i say guess i worked out the meanings through the syllables in there so syzygy noun for a lesbian orgy for example tina georgina francine and carol invited sarah over for a syzygy and here's a picture to illustrate a syzygy and you can see it's a phone there with a group chat, and it's been seen by uh, it's been seen by Georgina, Francine, and Carol, uh, and it's been sent to Sarah, you know, and, and Sarah's up for it, you know. Um, then we've got uh, pantysocracy, which is when a woman convinces someone to do some a bloke to do something by using the sexuality against them, you know, and be putting on like the favourite stocking so they can go and see the bridge over the Humber is the short example of the example that's within there. So if you fancy a bit of a reader that, one ninety nine is an ebook or eight pound fifty to buy the actual book, but you'll have to wait a couple of weeks for it to reach you. But you can read the ebook instantly, and it fucking cost me a lot less money to sell it to you. Then we've got my second book, which was How to Date an Antique Table, a lover's guide, everything that you need to know about how you can shag an antique table, mate. Well, I don't go, I don't go as far as to tell you like how to, how to literally make love to the antique table, because that would just be weird, debauchery, and, and fucking crude. And I try not to be crude, although I might you might seem like I swear a lot and shove a lot of stuff up bumholes. I try my best not to be crude. I'm not really a, a very sexual guy. So, uh, for example, you could um, you could you could go skydiving with your antique table. You've got an example there of how the day might go, and an illustration there to show you and your table, your antique table skydiving. Um, then we've got indoor rock climbing, mate. You could you could go indoor rock climbing. There's an example of you. And your antique table, try and having a go at rock climbing, and an example of how your day might go. Uh, we, I'll, get, I'll give you a read of one of them. We've got get arrested together. So here's your illustration for getting arrested together. There's there's you in your in your rainproof coat, um, and you've dropped your trousers and underwear to expose yourself to a woman and a small child, and um, get arrested together. Lots of fun to be had, so long as you're careless. This is like a license to print money. Coincidentally. That'd be a great way to get arrested together. Buy a printer and start selling real licenses for creating counterfeit currency. Obviously, the more obscure the crime, the more memorable. But I suppose the more heinous the crime, the more memorable too. Killing sprees may be a little intense for your average person, but if you feel like slaughtering innocents for the sensation of admiration from an antique table, then maybe that's what your antique table requires from you to prove you're serious. Then, so be it. I was thinking more along the lines of shoplifting or car theft rather than hurting anyone, though, because this might scare away your antique table. So there's your example of one from there. And then at the back, uh, the back of a couple of these, you've got examples of my taxidermy. So you can see the shooting star there, which is a goldfish, with, uh, a fucking starfish with a pistol. Uh, an amalgamation there, which is an elephant I made out of a, a rat and a mouse. And then a, a rat man there, which is similar to these rat men. Like, similar to bag man here, with a, a big gaz with his bag of beak. Similar to him, but except he's holding the world on his back, so I called him Ratless instead. Um, and then it, just before we get to that part of the back of the book, the bit before the back of the book, which uh, I guess the middle, if you like, uh, it's not. It's, although it's not the middle, it's more towards the end of the book. Towards the end of the book, we'll go. Is it the epilogue, the bit before the end? We've got chat up lines, mate, for what you can use with an antique table. You look like you need to be treated. Fancy bumping into you. 
I spent my whole life looking for that one night stand. You know, um, you look broken, I want me to nail you in my workshop. So they only really work with antique tables or people that you see as nothing more than a table. But uh, I guess why would you be like that? Again, 199 from my website, worldaroundyou.com. Uh, or you can go to me, me sub on here. Now, I don't know if I'm just not seeing. Like, I, I, I think it's weird that, you know, someone... Is there just no comments on Reddit? This is bizarre. Usually people are calling, usually people are calling me a weirdo, so this is quite nice that people are being quite friendly, or at least like just watching, which is lovely, you know. Um, someone's asking on TikTok there, does all this affect your love life? Not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of. Um, it could do. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to ask her. Uh, someone's asking me, when do you move on to human bodies? Yeah, probably never, mate. I'm not really interested in doing that. So... The newest book, though, The More You Know, has got a few of you TikTokers who gave me suggestions over lockdown, the last lockdown. Uh, your names are mentioned in the start as being like a little producer, if you like, for giving me ideas and names to words to go from. But it's just a book of fake facts, mate, all illustrated in the same vein as the other. You can see there at the back again some examples of my taxidermy and some of the merch you can buy, you know, like a little catalogue at the end. But that's only like five or six pages. Um, so you've got uh, facts like, uh, let's have, um, the record for the world's youngest woman is such a heavily contested title that the waiting list itself to be judged is often longer than the average age of the woman when they first apply. And here's, a, here's your illustration for that. So to show that, what I've done is, um, here's a woman here who was 18, and then that woman was 18 after her. And then this woman was a more recent woman with shaved sides of a red and blue hair. And then here's a younger 18-year-old with hairy armpits and, and another weirder haircut. And she's still got hold of her balloons because she's just turned 18. And she's competing to be um, the world's youngest woman. But obviously she's not going to get there because there'll be another world's youngest woman immediately after. Um, the most naturally occurring colour, colour hair, is brown. Followed closely by black. The most commonly occurring pubic hair colour is black, even amongst brunettes and gingers. And uh, there's a, there's an illustration for that. Load of people with different coloured hair, and you can see pubes on them in various locations of the body. Um, then we have uh, the word whistle originates from an extinct language that uses sounds, allowing for the word den denoting whistle to be onomatopoeic. So the word whistle would have been something like like that but it, instead of it actually being like that it was it, it, they translated it to whistle uh, then we've got uh, other other such lies as um, to compete with overseas saffron suppliers a corporation conducted years of research into producing artificial saffron or find, for finding a natural replacement it was discovered that if you expose the fat and soft meat under the shell of an armadillo to certain undisclosed conditions you can in fact recreate powdered substitute for saffron and there's your illustration for that, which is um, a hammer and a spoon with a, a turtle and a box of mystery. And if you like boxes of mystery, mate, you can buy a mystery box from my website. And in that, you could get something like one of these shells, which would make a nice ashtray. There you are. It's a shame that it's so dark in here, but if you can see the light shimmering in there. Um, then we've got these, uh, a duckling skin keyring, maybe. little duckling skin keyring. What I'm going to do to try and not miss something is I'm going to work from the, the the back of my freezer to the front of my ear and then we'll probably end this here um, because then I've covered everything basically and I've already taken half an hour of somebody's time at least so um, right, we'll go from the back so well actually we'll go from the front because fuck it because I can show you something I've made before, rather than just showing you other things so we've got this wooden mouse here where I've given it a real tail made out of rat skin and, and well, a rat's tail and then rat skin underneath with fur so you can have a little tickle of it then we've got false nails made out of rat skin as well which will probably find their ways into a mystery box or an oddity starter pack we've got porn stars which are a magnetic starfish with fake penises uh, then we've got these mate little, little gemstone pendants in various shapes we've got obelisks, crucifixes uh, teardrops, love arts you know but I just thought they were quite nice you know you, sh you should have a look at them, you know. I think they're up at I think they're up at three quid a piece. They get one at random, you know. 
this here is a rat man. This rat man here. That's half a rat. And then he's got a halo made out of rat skin and chicken beaks, you know. And if you're seeing this, guys, and you don't like it, please don't report me because this is my full-time thing, innit? So... I, I, this is how I this is how I show people what I make. Please just go away. I'm not I'm not intending to upset anyone in it with the things I've made. I'm hoping that they might make you laugh in it because they make me laugh. Then we've got magnetic mouse earrings, mate. So you don't need to you don't need to have your you don't need to have your ears pierced. Just go like that. I'm, I'm a taxidermist, you see. So I like to just make new things out of them. Ball flickers, uh, rat skin, baby chicken shins, and a bit of duck in there. Um, again, mate, if you're look, if you if you're looking at it, someone on TikTok is getting upset by it. Don't don't watch me. The, the internet man gives you access to billions of things, mate, that you can look at and watch and read and learn about, man. Don't please don't use it to upset yourself with my gear, because I'm not going to give you an answer that you like. Everything's ethically sourced, if that helps, sustainably and ethically sourced. So nothing is hurt specifically for me to do this. I'd even argue nothing's hurt because most of this stuff's probably gassed. Then we've got, uh, these are my ball flickers here, so uh, uh, a bit of duckling, bit of rat, baby chicken shin, big chins, beaks, you know, uh, crab claws in a little pot. These are made out, this is made out of a mouse and some baby chicks. And we've got, uh, there's the, the tail, bit of rat there, there's an ear. These are the beaks to make eyelids, which also, though, because it's weird to think, in it, that your eyelids are also made out of your feet and your skin. It's all made out of the same stuff. So I thought it'd be nice to have the feet also made out of the eyelids for this. But the eyelids are actually uh, chicken beaks. Uh, you're not... The person on TikTok keeps asking, you're not actually listening to what I'm saying, man. I don't understand. You just get winding yourself up here. Um, it's, it's taxidermy, mate. There's there's nothing wrong with it, honestly. It's 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 fine. Um... There's, a, there's another Bob Led there. The ball flicker, sorry. Oh, I've not shown you this yet. Here's my alarmed mink. So this is like, um, so you've got, um, oh, don't, don't, no, don't call them names off pissed. You don't have to wind them up, man. People don't like, some people don't like things, innit? And that's fine, man. I'm not trying to upset anyone. Don't, don't be dickheads to each other, innit? Just, just fucking, if you don't like it, man, ignore it. There's loads of stuff going on, like, go and have a look at other people, what they're doing, mate. Uh, so this is my alarmed mink, so, it, you know, you've got deer in a headlight, sort of fucking, like, you know, a fucking hair in a spotlight, mate. How about this? Fucking alarmed mink. There you go. This is made out of, I've got some old antique mink scarves, mate. And I thought, well, I'll make this into something better. So I made it into this. I took out the middle, got rid of the middle, shortened it down, put it into two halves. With its legs, I made window legs, which are like window ledges, but without the D in there, which you can attach to your window and fucking slap and high five as you go past and that. Um, and then this, so you, it's to help with anatomy, help children with anatomy basically. So when you when you put the head on wrong, you're like, oh, it don't go like that. If you put the head on backwards, you're like, oh, that's wrong. There we go. That's how it should be, you know. Um, then we've got uh, this sort of thing could be in a mystery box. Mystery boxes are thirty quid a piece, and there's there's something that could be in there. A little creepy, weird statue of a of a child. Um, got these, which are from my pack of poo selection, which is fossilized turtle shit, which is quite quite weird. You know, nice thing for your oddity shelves. Portable high five machines, made out of rat's legs. Get into that. Uh, duck lad, got a duck lad left. He's, this is Gamer Guy, Gamer Guy and a duck lad, duckling, chicken feet, action figure head, a James mate, that's uh, the bit of rat skin, rat ears, I'll show you a close up of the James, people love a James, then we've got uh, me one eyed worm, do you want to see me one eyed worm, which is a uh, rat's tail, a baby chicken toe there, the beak, a bit of mink, duckling there, and it's a nice little ornament mate for popping on your mantelpiece or something. Uh, I've got these, mate. These are these are my agate slice key rings, four quid a pop. If anyone's into them, something something nice, you know, to get your mum, your sister, your brother, you know, if he's into crystals and wants to show other people so they know what to get him for Christmas and his birthday. Here's some soapstone carvings. Now I like the agate key rings. I don't make these. I just get I just buy them because I think they're cool. Uh, take some for myself and then try and you know vlog them to you guys at a bargain I, I think some of me most of me stuff that i get like this i try to be one of the cheapest people around for it so these are me soapstone carving it's just a nice little thing to break up your shelf of taxidermy and that in it so you've got a giraffe uh, dinosaurs 
these these crocodiles, other types of dinosaurs, other types of animals. Another ball flicker there, made out of a bit of mink. If you like that, as I say, the ball flickers come random. You don't know what you're gonna get. Here's another one. That's a bit of duckling up there, um, and a bit of rat there, a bit of baby chicken beak. Uh, and again there, toes, beaks, rat skin, you know, all sorts, all sorts going on there. Here's one of my fornaments, well I'll show you both my fornaments. So there's my fornaments that I've got at the minute. There might be more if I can find some more broken ornaments. And I repair them meat with bits of, bits of skin. And I'll leave it up to you if you're new to it to try and figure out which bits of me repair jobs. I know, it, I know it can be hard. If you find us on Instagram and that though, you'll be able to find the pictures and you might be able to see it a bit easier. Where the where the repairs have taken place, I don't want to. I don't want you to feel like I'm tricking you. I've got this little weird little thing I made, where it's got a little fluffy groove in there, that's in a in a shell. That's a bit of rat skin in there, some baby chicken feet, a bit of duck in there. Um, me wrigglers, they're wriggle, aren't they? Wriggle like that, you know. Does anyone remember the cartoon? And then um, rat skin, chick chick skin, beaks, tails, you know the works another another um, ball flicker there that's a nice stalk made out of a rat's tail there again everything's googly eyed because I think it takes the edge off another one here glow in the dark eyes I like throwing the glow in the dark eyes on stuff because if you're having guests over and you know they're gonna sleep in your living room and then all of a sudden like you've gone up to bed ten minutes later they're thinking fucking there's a lot of dead rats in here and then all of a sudden you see this thing fucking glowing in the corner it's gonna shit them up a bit in it uh, a bit of amethyst Got some chunks of amethyst, which is quite nice, just fucking basically purple stone. Um, shark teeth, mate. Fossilised shark teeth. I've got other fossils as well, like this thing here. Yeah. These, I think, I can't remember how you pronounce it, crinoid or something, crinoid. These are um, little bits of fossilised coral stem, as far as I'm aware. Um, then we've got the, got this, oh, I'll show you this. Yeah, look at this. I've got a few of these, different types, different colours. Going to a mystery box, I'm thinking. Uh, you pop them on a the wall, mate, they just look fucking cool, innit? Like, nice and colourful and that. Little masks. Pencil case made out of a wrap. So you got a zipper down the spine. Pop your pens and pencils in there. Ideally, probably ones that you've nicked from the bookies or from Argos. Because you, you, you might not fit real size pens and pencils in there. And then a pencil sharpener up its arsehole. So you can't, you can't lose it. And I'll show you that close up. There you go. There you can see that. Um, here's Bagman. Bagman's one of my rat people, so he's got a bag made out of rat skin and chicken beaks in here, so he's got a bag of beak, you know, he's ready for the sesh. Fucking uh, mink quiff, because I, li I like my quiffs, as you can as you can see, I think it's a good it's a good hairdo. I also like a mullet, which you can see here, and I really would like my own mullet. Um, not as in, like, the fish, as in, like, the, the hairdo. Um, this bit's a rat here, bit of chest hair from a mink, and a couple of fake nips on there, there so you can, you can give them a little tickling if you fancy it. A chameleon in a cube. Now the chameleons, you're probably wondering where do you get the animals? And I get them from pet shops. They, they sell frozen animals in pet shops for um, fucking uh, feeding to snakes and lizards and owls and that. But the chameleons, you're probably thinking, oh, where do you get them? From the same pet shops. When they die in there, I'll, I'll, they sometimes give me some of the ones that are a bit smaller that I could use some for, rather than just going to be incinerated and you know, rather than wasting them. This here is called a fossil. Like uh, like faux fur, but faux fossils. So like, there's your real fossil there. And now, if you look closely, you'll, well, you have to look really closely in it. But that's a real fossil. This is a fake fossil, and it's a, it's a rat's head with a rat's spine and baby chicken hands to make like a little dinosaur in clear resin, so you can sort of look at it from all over. If you're feeling generous for both me and someone else, you could give uh, you could pay a penguin forward. These little plastic penguins, mate, like resin cast penguins. And you can, you, you buy one of these, doesn't cost you anything for postage, just cost you 90 pence. It's like giving me a little tip, you know, if you're like, oh, I like your gear, fucking, but I don't want it in my house, because I think you're fucking weird, and you might not want me having your address, maybe, you know, because you think, oh, he's weird, which I get a lot, you know, which is a shame, because I'm not a weirdo, I just like making stuff out of rats and that, as I said. But, you can buy one of these, and it goes in someone else's package at random, put a smile on their face, you know, they'll be like, oh, fuck me, I've got a penguin. Um, duckling skin key rings. They are. So they're, they're something nice to go on your handbag or on your on your keys. Abalone shell, mate, I really like this. I'm doing it a quid a piece at the minute. They are, they're all slightly different, as you can see. Different shapes, different shades of blue and green, and different patterns on them. And I'll pop them in an envelope and I'll send one to you. 
Again, worldaroundyou.com is my website. Bigger shells, mate. Nice little sort of ashtray kind of thing there. Got a few of them. The battery pack's flashing. It's probably going to die. I've got a little bit of battery left on there. Um, pyrite there. There's some pyrite. Fool's gold, you know, like a modern-day dunce hat. Uh, we've got fucking... I'll show you this guy again. Here we are. Dead quick. Wow, what else do we have? I don't really have much else at the minute to show you. Got that. He's not for sale, innit? I just think he's fun. Like, you know, who don't, who don't want to play with that? Um, my books. If you fancy a laugh, you know, you could read one of my books. Um, just the book. Books are nonsense, basically, but they might make you smile. Quite a few people have been getting them recently, the e-books. Not so much this one, the older one, but people seem to really like the How to Date an Antique Table or Lover's Guide. So, if you fancy a laugh and you want to learn how to get an antique table into the bedroom, you know, you want to rummage in its drawers, screw it low, slash, slow screw long screw quick nailing in the in the back bedroom then that's the book for you if you want some fake facts that'll make pub quizzes harder more you know and if you want to pretend you've read a dictionary uneducated guesses 199 each on my website as an ebook uh, you've got me podcasts they're available uh, there's like i don't know fucking 50 odd episodes of them there's uh, radio shows i've got two radio show series on threshold fm give them a try and I, I'm going to go guys because I've been talking fucking non-stop for nearly an hour. My throat is starting to get raspy and I, I need to sit down because I've managed to tire myself out a little bit now. It, believe it or not mate, this was my break. I'm considering this my break from work because obviously my break from work is, uh, well my, my work is, is making this stuff. So I thought for a break I'll, uh, I'll come and do this. So hopefully some of you have seen it and you like it. Fucking please, please. Follow me if you're on TikTok, follow me if you're on Reddit, uh, share this around me, that would be a nice thing. Share it around, go on me sub, which is the same as me username, but a sub, and fucking spread stuff from there, innit? Even better, mate, if you fucking buy gear off me, but I know not everyone's got the money to be spending it on, you know, uh, a wriggler or on a fucking uh, a bit of shell that they don't need. I know not everyone's got the money, so... If you've enjoyed it and I've made you laugh and that, give the shows a try. Spread it around to a mate and that mate. Fucking just, I'll fucking, I'll see you in a bit anyway. I'm gonna go because I'm, I'm, I am, I am actually making my head hurt now, and I really need a drink. So I'll see you in a bit. Thank you for, thank you for watching and that, guys. Uh, see you in a bit.